Yo, 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 what's going on guys, your boy is Pilot 2K7 and we're jumping into another Coastal Callouts episode, but something's a little bit different guys, we are wearing a Sheriff unit, so that is right, we're going to be doing Coastal Callouts and we're going to be playing as the Los Santos County Sheriffs uh, based off the Los Angeles County Sheriffs in real life, so we're going to be doing a Marine Patrol so I'm going to actually go ahead and leave the station. We're going to head to the docks where we have our boat set up. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and patrol the Alamo Sea right over there today. So this should be a really fun patrol since we never, ever did a sheriff patrol on the seas before on the water. So that should be a lot of fun. Um, and um, yeah, huge shout out to, to um, PNW Parks fan. He pushed out a huge update um, yesterday for Coastal Callouts. There are tons of new features. I cannot wait to show you guys everything. And um, we're gonna we're gonna check out the new um, sheriff boat today. So let's go ahead and try to get there a little faster. Hey guys, and if in case you have no idea what the heck Coastal Callout is or what the heck I'm even talking about, Coastal Callouts is a callout for LSPDFR that transforms LSPDFR from like a police um, simulator into like a Coast Guard rescue simulator. We're not even going to mind that. That didn't just happen. So um, yeah, pretty much it lets you play as a Coast Guard. You could um, drive boats, you could fly helicopters, you could perform rescues. You could do like um, boat inspections and stuff like that. But today, like I said, we're going to be doing a sheriff patrol. So we're going to be um, patrolling the sea as a sheriff marine unit. So I don't want to keep you guys waiting too long. So I'm just going to kind of get to our um, our makeshift dock. This isn't like an official dock or anything. Uh, I do have two partners. They are already there. Whoa. They are waiting for me so once we get over there we're gonna go ahead and get everything started also guys if you are interested in checking out coastal callouts it is not released yet but if you want to check it out early you can do so by joining the parks benefactor program and i will leave information about how to do that in the video description okay so like i said this is not like an official doc or anything uh, if you guys want to see the official docs you can check out some of the other videos where we launch from like the coast guard stations which look really really awesome but this is just our makeshift area that i decided to use today so we'll go ahead and park up our tahoe right here and let's go ahead and get started i need to go ahead and take a drink of water because i'm like so thirsty that's why i can't even talk so let me take this sip of water. I'm going to mute my mic for a second and drink some water. Alright, that's so much better. Alright, so as you can see, we have our response bolt medium here. This one is rocking the uh, Los Santos County Sheriff skin. This dock is like way too small for this boat, but oh well. So yeah, this is our, oh, I fell off already. This is our brand new boat for the Los Santos County Sheriff Department. Uh, as you see, I got two partners sitting inside waiting for me. I'm going to be the, um, I guess you could say I'm the captain of this ship, I guess. Um, our unit number is going to be Rescue 3 today. And we're going to mainly be doing traffic enforcement, but we can assist with, like, see, like that. That's why we're out here, because people doing stupid stuff like that. So let's go available for calls in case dispatch has anything for us. And um, let's go ahead and check out this new boat. So this is the same as the Coast Guard version. Obviously, it just has a different texture. But um, we're going to go ahead and check it out. So we could un-anchor everything, un-store everything, and let's get going. All right, so let's just walk around and take it. Whoa, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. How many, uh, let's count how many times my guy ends up in the water for no reason today. So far we are up to two times. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, this is the inside of the boat. Um, 
got some seats in here we have some partners here just hanging out uh, we have the rest of the boat back here we got some like inflatable stuff we got a, a life preserver cool thing we can actually um, throw the life preserver too late if we have to so as you can see it just pops up in my hand if I want to throw it and um, yeah that's pretty much it like I said this is the same version as the coast hello alright this person you need help sir can I help you with any All right, this guy he just freaking hit our boat, so we're going to go ahead and pull him over. Attention all Coast Guard units. We have a vessel in distress off the east coast. All units respond. All right, so that's the call for the Coast Guard that's out in the ocean, so that's not in our response area. But we'll be pulling over this boat right here. He just had a collision with us, so we're going to go ahead and check them out and see what their deal is. I'm going to pull up right next to them. And I'm going to anchor our... Oh my god, don't hit us, please. So we're going to anchor ourselves right next to him. Like so. Alright, so as soon as we get out, it says your boat and the Sussex boat is automatically anchored. So we didn't even have to manually anchor it. If we did want to manually anchor it for whatever reason, all you got to do is pull up your menu and hit um, anchor nearby boats and anchor my boat. But it's already... Um, anchored. So let's see what the heck this problem, the problem is with this guy and why he hit us. Hello, sir. How you doing? My name is uh, Deputy Ace with the Los Santos County Sheriff Department. You have any idea why I'm stopping you right now, sir? Do you realize I pay your wages and you're out here hassling? Well, the reason why I'm out here hassling you is because you just hit my boat, sir. You came up to me, you scraped the side of my boat, I asked you if you need anything, and then you just sped off. What's the reason for that? Okay, well, you don't have anything to drink today, right, sir? <laughs> he said he may have been smoking. All right. Interesting, interesting. All right, so what are you out here doing on the sea today? What are you doing? Are you fishing? You have a fishing license? All right, he says take a look. All right, so we'll check that in a second. Um, you have enough life jackets. I see you're wearing one, but you have enough life jackets for everybody on board. <laughs> it's only him, so I really don't even have to ask him that. Do you have a fire extinguisher, sir? Uh, yes, on the sides of this boat, you are supposed to have a fire extinguisher. And do you have distress signals like flares? Alright, he does have a flare gun. Perfect. And he's going to shoot one off. Alright, perfect. You have a flare gun. Um, so the only issue I have right now is that you said you may have smoked earlier. You cannot operate a boat while smoking marijuana. And also, you don't have your fire extinguisher. So you're going to have to get that taken care of. In the meantime, can I have your license, registra yeah, um, boat registration and insurance? Yep. Alright, his name is Belize Aziz. Bilal uh, Aziz. I don't know. Look at these awesome lights, too. I forgot to show you the navigation lights. It's red on this side, green on the other, and then we have the blue lights on top, which is pretty cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and check his information out. I'm going to go ahead and go into the boat to run his information real quick. Alright, so let's log, <laughs> i got to change that. Let's log in here, ped database, his name is that, valid, not wanted. Okay, everything seems to be okay here. Alright, I want to ask him a couple more questions using a patrol toolkit here. So let's pull up patrol toolkit by Dark Meyer. Alright, oh, I could unload EUP, forgot about that. Alright, so let's see, let's check the registration for this boat here. <laughs> Funny, it, it gives me a license plate, even though it doesn't technically have one. Alright, it's registered to him. Everything seems okay. We're going to do one more, whoa, one more test here. i do a records check on him. Make sure his boating license and everything is up to date. His boating license is expired. Okay. And he has a prior for drunk driving. Alright. Alright, sir. Just gonna board your vessel here. 
All right, we have a couple more issues. Your building license is actually expired, sir. So you are gonna have to get that taken care of, okay? You do have priors for drinking and driving as well. So I do wanna make sure you're not drinking and driving or under the influence of any controlled substance. So we are gonna go ahead and run a breathalyzer on you. All right, no alcohol. I know drug alizers are kinda not realistic, but we're gonna run a drug alizer on him. Oh, he's clean. All right. Well, appreciate your cooperation, sir. I'll go ahead and jump back onto my boat here. So last thing, we're just going to give him a couple citations here. So let's pull up the menu again. We are going to issue him a penalty. We're going to select the fence. We're going to go to category coastal. And we're going to we're gonna give him, let's see. Missing fire extinguisher. Should I get an unsafe operation? I say unsafe because he kind of came up to us and hit us. Alright, so let's give him those. Damn, $2,000 fine. Ouch. So let's issue him the ticket. And we are going to be on our way. So that is how you perform a traffic stop on a boat. We did our boat safety inspection. And we're now writing him a ticket. And he's going to be on his way. Alright, wait, where did he go? How did he get out of... Attention all units. A code 99 no, and I don't need the a code 99. Requesting all available units to attend. Alright, not sure why he got out of his vehicle. Let me see if I could... Alright, let me get him onto the boat. I don't want him to drown. I think I just called for backup too. This was going so well and then we messed up. Oh well. Let's see if I can put him into his boat then. Alright, he's in his boat. <laughs> Why did we arrest him? Let's unarrest him here. All available Coast Guard units. We have a civilian requiring assistance on a boat on Marina Drive. Alright, we got a report of a Jet Max experiencing engine troubles and requiring our assistance. Uh, let's see, where are they? Oh, they're right behind us. Alright, let's go ahead and head to that location. Go ahead and respond there. So we're probably gonna have to help them out. Probably gonna have to tow them or something like that. So let's head head to their location. Let's see what we have to do. If you guys do enjoy this episode, do remember to go ahead and hit that like button. Leave some comments. Let me know if you guys want to see more coastal callouts action on the channel. Also, guys, definitely check out my Patreon page as well, where you could um, help support me for as little as one dollar a month. If you want to go above and beyond and also if you want to do more you can do like five dollars uh ten twenty five dollars you get extra rewards on my youtube channel and on my discord server so definitely check that out so let's see what's going on here it says attach the disabled vessel to your boat so let's uh make contact with them first it looks like their engine is all whacked out so we probably have to tow these guys here all right so what we're going to do, I'm going to anchor my boat. So the reason why I anchored my boat this time is because um, I wasn't pulling them over, so it's not going to automatically anchor our boats. Hello guys, how are you guys doing today? You guys okay? Having some engine troubles? Okay, you guys have a... Uh, looks like you're smoking there. Let me freeze them. There we go. Alright, you guys uh, looks like having some engine troubles there. You guys have fire extinguishers on board? You have fire extinguishers? You have life jackets? Okay, yeah, that is very, very important. I do want to kind of question them first. Um, I'm not sure if I can really question them without... Go ahead, make me use it. Alright, well, I'm thinking if I should put them in my boat first. 
I think we should. Wait, careful guys. Alright. Let's see. I'm thinking how we should do this. Let's put them in our boat for their safety. Alright, so I'm gonna try to get her into my boat. No, I keep freaking I gotta take off whatever that is. I keep accidentally like I don't know what that key binding is. Whoa, no, don't do that. Alright, that what is that? The third time we jumped into the water for no reason. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and put her in my boat. And let's grab the next lady. We're gonna put her in our boat as well. Whoops. Yeah, make sure you guys keep count of how many times we fell in the water for no reason. I want you guys to post it in the um, in the comments section. How many times? <laughs> All right, can we grab her? Next time you're going downtown. All right, let's get her into our boat. I wish I could jump while holding her. I think like the only way is to jump into the water first. Oh, damn, we almost made it. Alright, let's try to put her in our boat. Alright, so she's in our boat. So we're going to go ahead and anchor them. Well, tow them, I mean. So let's see, I think they're going to be... Yeah, they're in the... Um, this is normally like the detention center down there, but... That's where we keep like either people under arrest or that are detained or people that we rescue. So you can see they're right, they're right down there. Uh, let me see if I can give you guys a better view of where they're at. You may see water down there. Uh, I'm not sure if, oh no, they're good. So yeah, this is where we put people that are rescued or people that are um, under arrest. All right, perfect. All right, so. Let's get back into our boat here. Now I'm going to show you guys how we're going to tow a boat. So we're going to unanchor our boat. We're going to release all anchor boats. Let's get into position. And let's start a tow now. So now we're going to attempt to tow their boat. So let's bring up our boat towing menu. I believe I could just press... I forgot what button takes me right to it. Alright, boat towing menu. Should we tow them ourselves or should we request a boat? I'll tow them myself. We could also request a boat to tow them, but... Oh, I didn't... I just requested a boat. Oh, well. Alright, so the next one we'll tow ourselves, but I just requested a tow boat. Alright, so as you can see, another Los Santos County boat is going to pull up. And they are going to... They are going to um, tow the boat for us. So let's just kind of watch and see what they do. So what I'll do, I'll do one more call out and I'll tow the next boat. Oh, they got it already. Nice. So they're going to tow that boat for us. We're going to drop these people off at the station. Let me try not to crash into this other unit. Very, very cool though. So they are towing the boat, and um, yeah, we're going to head back and drop off these people. Let's drop them off in there. Where should we drop them off at? There's not really a dedicated drop-off spot around here, so I'm just going to drop them off somewhere over here by Sandy Shores. Their boat will be towed to wherever it has to go, and um, they could, I guess, pick it up at a later time. Why is this person's swimming in the water. What the hell? We gotta watch out. There are a lot of swimmers in the water here. Wish there was more like docks around here, but there really isn't. We're just gonna have to... Just gonna have to, um... Let them off over here. Alright, so let's open up our menu. Um, see, I would do this, but I don't 
I can't really drop them off at a hospital because we're not in a helicopter. So we're just going to drop them off out of the boat. And um, they'll, they'll be good. I think we let out some of our people too. Oh, he's getting back on. Perfect. Alright, so they are good. They're back on shore. We are 10-8 and available. Oh, I like how the guy is just standing on the front. Uh, that's pretty cool. Alright, so we are 10-8 and available. Let's see what else we get into. So far we did a... That was probably our fault. We did a traffic stop. We did a rescue. Let's see what else we get into today. Turn off our lights too. Alright, let's go. This is Adam 5. Copy that. We'll keep an eye out. I love how the guy's just like standing there. It looks so cool. Attention all units. We've got a 148 on Marina Drive. Alright, we're getting reports of a fleeing boat out here in Alamo City. So yeah, let's head over there. So this is going to be a boat pursuit. Let's see what happens now. See another boat over there. Looks like they're responding as well. Where are they? Looks like it's going to be this boat right in front of us here. Alright, so we have two units. That's the other unit that was towing out of the boat. We are now in pursuit. Whoa, whoa, he's turning towards us. He's turning towards us. Alright, so we got two units here. Let's see if we get this guy stopped somehow. I'm gonna try to take over primary here. Alright, so I'm gonna try to give him audio warnings first. And if that doesn't work, we may have to escalate it to like trying to shoot out his engines or something to get him stopped. Oh, that's nice. That's a new sound. Huh? Alright, he is not stopping for us right now. We may have to call in. Oh wait, is he? No, I thought he was stopping. He's not stopping for us. Alright, may need to escalate this a little bit further here. How many people? There's only three people on that boat. Oh, I pray he doesn't try to go down the waterfall. Let's pull up tactics here. I'm gonna go slightly aggressive. We're gonna try to shoot his engines. Alright, so they're, they're shooting at his engines now. Whoa, that was nearly a big collision. Now, you guys see this mount on top. The plan is to get a machine gun on that mount and be able to shoot from there. But until then, we just kind of have to shoot from where we're at. No, 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 don't go that way, don't go that way, don't go that way. Shit. We're gonna have to call in the freaking Coast Guard, because we can't go that way. Shit, shit, shit. Uh, we gonna need some help. Units. Units uh, I think he stopped. And I think he stopped. We are airborne and in route. Nope, he didn't stop. Alright. Hopefully he turns around. Alright, I'm gonna try to take him out. Gotta 
Uh, oh, he gave up. He gave up. All right, perfect. He gave up. Whew. Because what happened is there's a freaking waterfall over there. So I did not want him to go down the waterfall. Down that unit beached themselves. All right, we did call a Coast Guard helicopter, but we could dismiss them. Well, we could kind of use them still. Let's let's pull out the heli camera. So this is a heli camera with the uh, oh, I'm gonna crash my boot. Let me let me switch back. Wait, is he still going? He's still going, mother. Where is he at? I'm about to shoot him from right here. Oh no, his hands his hands are up and he's still going straight. <laughs> what the heck? All right, so we do have help from the Coast Guard right now, but I think. I don't know why he's still going. Hands up and he's still going. I gotta ask parts about that one. Because he gave up. But he's still going. He's driving with no hands. I'm, oh shit, I'm just gonna kind of cheat because his hands are already up, so we're gonna just assume that he gave up even though the boat is magically driving itself somehow. Just trying to get nice and close. Alright, we're gonna anchor my boat. Alright, so we're gonna place this guy under arrest here. Down on the ground, man. Down on the ground. Get down on the ground, man. I ain't playing with you no more. Oh, he took a shot to the chest, too. Oh, another one. Yeah, we let off with that carbon rifle, though. Like I said, that was a little unrealistic, but I was trying to do what I had to do to get him stopped. Look how many freaking bullets tore through his engine. Alright, so we got everything under control. We could release that Coast Guard helicopter. I thought he was going to go down the waterfall, and if he would have went down the waterfall, we would have needed the Coast Guard helicopter to continue chasing him, so that's the reason why I called the Coast Guard. He's on parole for bestiality. He doesn't have a boating license as well. Alright, um, let's release that helicopter. Thank you guys for the help. Right, let's get him into our vehicle. We're gonna put him down. All right, I didn't want to put him there, but okay. All right, wait. Why did you get back out? Dispatch to all Coast Guard units. We've got an SOS call in North Chumash. All units respond. All right, not sure why he keeps getting we have out. An SOS distress signal and the Palato Bay Delta. Hey, what up, respond. guys? Wait, I didn't call for a tow. I wanted to tow it myself. Damn it. All right, I guess we're not going to be able to show you guys the boat towing feature because somehow I accidentally called for a tow boat, not paying attention. I also didn't want to search his boat, but oh well. Alright, so we're going to take him back. Let's uh, unanchor my boot. So we're going to take him back, and um, he's going to jail. So that's pretty much all I have for today's episode. I really do hope you guys did enjoy. Um, for our next Coastal Callouts video, I think I'm going to do a Los Santos Port Police Patrol. So we're going to use a similar boat, but we're going to play as the Los Santos Port Police and patrol the port area so definitely let me know if you're looking forward to that huge shout out to pnw parks fan again for this amazing call out like i said if you want to get access to it check out the links in the video description and um try it out for yourselves it's a lot of fun so um, yeah guys that's all i got i will see you guys in the next one looking forward to doing some live streams later today as well so look out for that and i will see you guys in the next one peace